So what are we doing this morning, Derek? Hanging out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's gonna be awesome. Okay, so here we are at the beginning of another new project. This should take us about two days or so. Um, right here where I started scratching the sod away, we're gonna put our cascade, which is a trio of bubbling rocks. It gets LED lighting and aquatic plants, a piece of driftwood, kind of a rustic, um, just kind of a, it's kind of the opposite of an ornamental water feature, like a little fountain that you'd see at Lowe's or something. It's like a rustic version with natural borders, natural elements and stuff. And they're beautiful, they're really popular. They're one of the most popular water features we install because they fit in all kinds of spaces. They're virtually no maintenance. They have a big impact. Great bang for your buck. We're gonna be installing that in here today. We do some planting, some LED lighting on that uh, Japanese maple. Some LED lighting on the face of the home here. A couple of plants in the bed to match what's over there, over on this side, expanding this landscape bed around the bubble rocks. It's gonna be awesome. had our lunch break and we're getting back to it we have all our plumbing in place this is what it looks like before we put any rock into this fountain see right there is the vault where the pump gets installed this is all our aqua blocks which creates that void space under the whole system you can see there's space void space down there so this whole thing fills up with water and it's structural we can put our boulders on top of this our pump is right down in there you can see that our auto fill is down there this is a quick connect for the pump so you can easily disconnect it and pull the pump out. And then it runs out into this manifold into these ball valves where we control the flow for each hole. And that gets covered up with the lid and the plumbing continues out and to each boulder that's gonna go right here across the top of these aqua blocks. So um, when we're done, the gravel will be six inches deep here and cover both that lid and this lid. And you just, all you need to do to access these ball valves is just brush the gravel off. You can control the ball valves as, so you get the flow that you want. And right now we're gonna focus on getting these boulders swung in here. Now's the creative part. is what you saw with just the black aqua blocks with the vault in that corner and the uh, manifold box in this corner. Boom, four hours later, this is what you got. So I have these three boulders sitting here. This rock's just sitting there, it's nothing. Um, but I got these three boulders here. This is the remote for the pump. And I got all the water kind of coming together here in the center into this pool. And uh, the water's gonna pull up here in the center and fall out here. It's gonna be like a falls right here and it's also gonna fall out this side. So it's gonna be pretty cool. Man, I need some adjustments, but we're ready to plug this thing in. Here we go. Boom. You ready to see the water flowing? Yep. We're gonna to need to make some adjustments. We got no water coming out of that top one. Yeah, it takes a little while. So I think that middle one's the one we gotta turn shut. Got this one. Okay. What are... oh. There we go. That was the one. There we go. Wow, that turned out really cool. Look at that. Hmm. 
man, I love this right here. Check that out. I love the way that falls off right there and comes together. It's a really cool little waterfall. It's actually not falling here like I thought it would. We got a really cool falls over here. I could probably slow this down on this side a little bit. Yeah, this is definitely plenty of water. I can slow this down and direct more water over that side. What do you say? You like it? You can't wait to play in it? Oh, I can see him in that. Oh, yeah. That turned out really cool. Look at that. Yeah. But I got too much water going out that end and not enough on the other. Yeah, I kind of feel it just coming out. Yeah. So we'll need to fix that. Uh -uh. We just have to plug it up over on that side more. Yeah. See how much water is going over that side? I'd really like the composition of it. The composition of it turned out awesome. Just getting ready to pull off here, and uh, say it was a success. I, I'd say it was a success. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Would you say it was a success? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Do you like the waterfall? Yeah. Is it awesome? It's awesome. Yeah. Give me a thumbs up. No yeah. <laughs> okay, people, we got this thing done. Connor, my man, him and I wrapped it up here today. We got all the plants in, got the bubbling rock finished up, all the uh, detail on all the detail work on it. And I got these lights installed here. We got these lifetime warranty bronze outdoor lighting fixtures. And they are gonna light up the front of this home really nicely. We also have some up lights on that Japanese maple over there. So it's gonna be a game changer for the front of this house tonight when it gets dark. Let's take a look at that guys. Check out that before and after. I hope I took some before fix. I don't even remember. If you have any questions on this uh, water feature or want to know how we can install one for you guys, I'll leave a link down in the description below. You can either click on that for more information or comment on the video here below. So right now, let's cut to the B-roll. Is that nugget? Cool. He lives at your house. Nice. Hey, nugget. <laughs>